Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Dupine and this is One Wonders. And I've been very concerned about what's going on in Manatee County. Of course, Mosaic wants to deep well inject their toxic pond water underneath the aquifer in Manatee County. And the town of Longo Key, where I live, buys their drinking water from Manatee County and I don't want our water to be contaminated. A lot of the byproducts are highly radioactive. There's heavy metals in it, which cause cancer, as well as phosphoric acid and sulfuric acid and other things. I'm really super concerned about those acids since the gypsum stacks have been leaking, the liners have been leaking, at a recent meeting in Manatee County, I spoke with John Coates from the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. He's in charge of mining and minerals. Apparently they do treat the pH of the pond water, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the acids still aren't there. This is John Coates. I'm concerned about what's in the pond water, the phosphoric acid and the sulfuric acid. Today, that water is a pH of 7. Unfortunately, when the emergency discharge happened, it was a pH a little bit north of 5, and neither one of those are consistent with phosphoric acid pH. If you, so if you have what any... What about sulfuric acid? Same, same thing. And can you, you guarantee that... What I can do is provide you with real facts and real information, and if you take a look at that information and those facts, there is nothing acidic about either one of those two ponds. Certainly nitrogen and phosphorus are, are very much a concern and the department wants to make sure that the water quality is addressed and doesn't threaten groundwater resources, drinking water resources, but there is, there is So the phosphoric pH. acid and the sulfuric acid that's in the pond water, it's not a problem? If you can, go look at the pH, go look at the pH of the process water, that's the, the water that's in those ponds today. That, that would tell you whether or not you have an acidic waste stream or not. For example, the sulfates that you have in there are higher in seawater. So the sulfates that you would have from sulfuric acid that are left are higher in seawater than they are here. Yes. So your, your concept that there's still remnant actual acid, sulfuric acid and, and, and phosphoric acid in those ponds is just is not correct. Well, what, do so, you, what caused the leakage from the gypsum stack and what caused the sinkhole in Polk County? This particular project here, so you asked the question about what caused the leak here, it was not water chemistry in any way that caused the leak. So the leak is, is still something. The leak that happened here was, was from a liner failure and a subgrade failure. It had nothing to do with the chemistry of the water. So hopefully that's helpful. Thank you, I, Mr. Cole. Thank you. Well, he didn't address that sinkhole. So I decided to ask Eric Crown, the producer of the movie Phosphate, what he thought. Although Piney Point is not owned by Mosaic, the state standards are the same for the entire phosphate mining industry. So every company, regardless of their name, follows the same process and unfortunately has the same toxic results. One thing I found very uh, upsetting and worrisome about this most recent meeting is that the FDEP is supposed to be a watchdog over the phosphate mining industry and instead they have become their guard dog. Even if they are able to mitigate the phosphoric and sulfuric acid inside of the pond water, they do it mostly with an excessive use of ammonia and other harmful chemicals. So even if they say that the pH is fine, there's a lot of other worrisome aspects. And putting it between the stack and then into the ground, just because it's out of sight and out of mind, does not mean the residents are out of danger. In, when I was testing the mosaic water, that's one of the issues is Florida expands its levels in order for the mining industry to operate legally within the expanded confines that Florida sets. Uh, inside of this pond water is a lot more chemicals that, that are cancer causing and also cause other chronic illnesses including radium-226, uh, carcinogens, other endocrine, endocrine disruptors, heavy toxic metals like antimony, arsenic, barium, cadmium, chromium, copper, fluoride, lead, mercury, out of all things, nickel, silver, sulfur, 
Helium, another contributor to cancer, and zinc. So no matter what, this water is not clean enough for people to not be worried, and the residents have a reason to raise their voice in concern. That was Eric Crown, producer of the movie Phosphate. I'm very weary of this deep well injection project, and I asked Congressman Buchanan not to support it. I'm Dr. DuPont, and this is One Wonders.